you're on your knees and you're out of resources and you you're just praying to the universe even that is part of the sacredness even that is an expression of non-duality Hallo en welkom bij deze aflevering van Inzicht in Non-Dualiteit. De podcast van de magazine Inzicht met verdiepende gesprekken over non-dualiteit. Mijn naam is Klaas Uitkoek en vandaag hebben we een hele speciale gast, helemaal vanuit Londen, maar dan wel online, namelijk Jeff Foster. Jeff heeft sinds 2006 al vele boeken geschreven over het onderwerp non-dualiteit. En zijn belangrijkste thema daarbij is de onvoorwaardelijke acceptatie van alles wat is. En dan heeft hij zelf een hele grote uitdaging op dat vlak gekregen een paar jaar geleden toen hij een heftig geval van de ziekte van Lyme kreeg. Um, en hij is ook een tijdje van het toneel verdwenen en kon geen retreats doen en dergelijke. Maar gelukkig is hij voldoende hersteld en is hij weer terug bij ons ook nu om een podcast op te nemen. Um, Welcome back, Jeff. <laughs> well, um, welcome was... back. Have I been here before? <laughs> well, no. Have, I, have we met before? Is this? Is this? Oh my god! I, I don't know. Maybe it's it's, a, it's a deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> it's always deja vu, really. I guess you said yeah. something about me. Be, Jeff is an international something, and I was like, am, yeah. I, am I international? I think so. Yeah. I'm just a guy. Looks... I'm just a guy sitting on a yellow sofa. That's true. Yeah, so I'm I'm just a guy sitting on a wooden chair over here. <laughs> Nothing special. <laughs> and we both got our we got our little plants. We've got it's, our... it's like we we just uh, like we 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 made an agreement. Like let, let's put in a plant, a, a couch. Uh, well, you've well, got the bookshelf, which which you get yeah, you get extra points yeah, for the bookshelf. Yeah. That, that, that shows that I'm really learned and <laughs> it shows that you're really knowledgeable. <laughs> that shows you that know. you're the expert, and and I and I I don't have I don't have any of the books, so I I I don't know anything. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. have a plant, and the plant knows everything. I think. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I, I ruined your introduction. There you go. No problem. <laughs> yeah, well, I really love the fact that you you run with it. Uh, well, I have to explain because I I did an introduction and I said, well, you've been off the stage for a while and now you're back. Luckily, I've been where? Uh, off the stage for a off little the bit. Stage. Um, yes. You know, just do not doing any retreats anymore. Maybe. Being a... Well, it's great being off the stage because when you're yeah. off the stage, no one's staring at you. They're not waiting mm. for for wise words. They're not waiting for answers. It's a great thing. It's a wonderful. It's a wonderful thing to be off the stage. I highly recommend it. Yeah, and of course, I have to congratulate you on becoming a father to your daughter, Gwendolyn. Right? How did you know that? Yes, yes. Yeah, I guess well, yeah. <laughs> Facebook says everything. You know, have you been stalking? Have you been stalking me? Of course, yeah. Re researching me for the podcast. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, she's she's really a miracle. You know, um, she's four months old now, mm. and especially after everything that happened to me a few years ago with the with the, with the illness, you know, I, I I'm blown away with uh, gratitude. I mean, me and Alice are just so so incredibly grateful for the, for the, for this blessing, really. You know, and the yeah. Um, so thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's it's, it's quite something. We had some contact. You you might not remember, but uh, you, of course you have a lot of email, a lot of people coming by to ask you for a podcast. But we had some contact, and I I asked you uh, what yes. what could we talk about, and you said, well, maybe about non duality and changing dirty baby nappies. And I remember yes. the quote of of you, like you said, uh, embrace the freshness of every moment. And I'm just wondering <laughs> the freshness of every moment, except when there's a dirty nappy. Yeah. And uh, I guess that's the ultimate paradox of non-duality. There's 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 the freshness of every moment, and then there's the the uh, the smell mm. of uh, of the poo poo. And how do we hold all of that? Mm. See, we, wow, the, we've just we just we just got to some deep wisdom there <laughs> through the through the dirty nappy through through the shit into the into the divine. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, no so you, you weren't yeah. you weren't actually stalking me. I did actually tell you those things myself. <laughs> okay, I feel better well, now. Did. Well, <laughs> and, and also I did stalk you a little bit, but hey, <laughs> that's all right, isn't it? Well, at least you're honest. Most people don't admit to that. At least, at least yeah. you admitted to the stalking. That's that's you yeah. get you get some points for being honest that you Thanks. stalk yeah. me. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm wondering. Um, we're talking about non-duality, of course. And uh, yes. the thing I always ask uh, the people who are in this podcast is, what's uh -oh. your definition or uh, oh, experience Jesus. of non-duality? You that's, have to ask that. That's an impossible question. Isn't oh, it? Jesus. You know, I, I think I'll, for, for me, just, you know, just personally, when if we're using the word non-duality, you know, it's for mm. me, it's it's just a word. Yeah. It's a word, you know, that the, the, 
points back to the mystery of all things you know the the mystery of life itself the mystery of creation the the um you know for me it's not it's not ultimately something that can be understood with the mind i mean we, it's beautiful as well you know trying to understand it and using concepts and you know non-duality is the blah 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 blah, blah. i mean mm. that we could we could and you know that that could be fun as well but i mean if i'm speaking really truthfully for me it's 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 a word that points back to something that that can't be uh, understood it can't be conceptualized it's it comes before language before even before the word non-duality mm. and that's actually why i don't uh I don't use the word non-duality a lot anymore just because, you know, it's almost like the moment we talk about non-duality, we make it into a thing. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this thing called non-duality. Let's, let's try and understand this thing called non-duality. And before you know it, we've made it into something, you know, and then we can pretend to be experts on this thing called non-duality. But we the truth grasp, is, the other, yeah. we can grasp the thing. We it's can like grasp finally it, yeah. ours. It's finally, it has yeah. form. Yeah. Yeah. No, the, the the truth is that the honest answer to your, to your question is I have no idea. I have, I have mm. no fucking idea. I think that's the only answer, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Was that the right answer? Well, no, it is the you right approve. answer. I think I got. I think I got yeah, the the approval of insect. I think, <laughs> do I get the official seal seal of approval for the the only correct answer? So. Of course, that there's no correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. But that's that's you know I. Yeah. For me, it's look. I I used many years ago. I I used to believe that I was an expert on non-duality. I I really because I'd read all the books and you know, um, I had so many ideas stuffed into my head about what mm. non-duality is, and I I thought I was an expert. Thought I knew, and then life and in its infinite wisdom smashed it all, smashed all of that up, all of that under mm. intellectual conceptual understanding, and it brought me back to a place of of not knowing of of mystery. You know what the the mystery of, you know, your a baby being born, like the the mystery of you know holding my father's hand as 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 he took his final breaths, like the the mystery of the clouds in the sky, the mystery of the the flowing river right here, the the mystery of like the the grass growing or like what a just a, a fly. You know, I sometimes I watch my my cat. We have a a blind cat. She's very sweet, and she spends hours sometimes trying to catch. A fly, and that's very difficult when you're when you're a blind cat. Mm. It's probably hard enough for a seeing cat, but for a blind cat, it's even more difficult. You know, just the the mystery of a fly, just a single ordinary fly. Like the, the, for me, the word non-duality, and we can use the word non-duality. We can use the word consciousness, awareness, being, life. I mean, at some point, mm -hmm. you just kind of get bored of all the bloody words. Mm -hmm. And you just sink back into the the mystery of it and the not knowing and the wonder and 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 you know presence just just being present with all the ordinary moments of life with which for me like they're not they're not ordinary at all they're, they're you know they're, they're quite extraordinary um so so for me it's also a word that points back to that seeing the extraordinary and the ordinary the the wonder of existence the the mystery of life itself but it's not it's not something that you you achieve through the mind it's not it's not a, a special state that, that, that you can attain it's not something that some people have and other people don't I think all of that is that's all the stuff I used to believe by the way or maybe we can talk about that like I, I, I when I thought I had all the answers but it's it's such a relief uh, what I find it's such a relief to not have any answers anymore yeah you know so anyway that was a very 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 long way of saying I have no fucking idea. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Sorry, am I allowed to swear? Sure, sure. Yeah, well, in Holland, everything's possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you no can do problem. anything in Holland. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure. You can say anything. You can smoke yeah. anything. You smoke can smoke yeah. weed. Yeah, sure. Wait, really? <laughs> Just maybe the conversation is going to be better. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's where that would be an interesting podcast, smoking weed and talking about non-duality. I think that's the next. Yeah. That's the next. Uh, Next step. That's the next step. Podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. I listened to a, a, another podcast that was great. Uh, I am podcast. Um, where you explain that you went through different stages uh, of being enlightened and being an enlightened person. But well, really... think, th I went through different stages of thinking. 
thinking yeah that thinking i was enlightened, that you and, were think, enlightened. and yeah be, being convinced that i was the most enlightened person on the planet yeah let's let's be clear about that and it became it was, a new identity and you had oh, to yeah oh yeah just release this identity of being enlightened or being an enlightened person versus people who weren't enlightened so mm -hmm. there's duality in that i think oh, yeah. i thought that was a great great explanation of what can happen if you believe you're someone who is enlightened or someone who is no one <laughs> that's someone who is no one yeah i'm because yeah because you know because back then i used to think that non-duality was all about i thought the goal was to like lose the self to be to be um free of the self or free of the ego or free of the mind or or, or that you had to be a um you had to lose the person you had to lose the personal self or lose the separate self so i thought i used to think that 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 was the the goal was to be in a state where there was no separate self there was no ego there was no mind there was no person anymore you know and of course look it's a beautiful dream i mean what a beautiful dream that is you know and and, and of mm. course we would dream that when when we're suffering and stuck and we don't want to be in the present moment of course we st oh my god that's a beautiful idea what <gasps> imagine not being a person like oh imagine if i could lose if i could lose the self i mean of course you're going to dream of that and try and get there and and but you know at some point i just realized that my mind had even created that like the dream of you know no longer being a person and then mm -hmm. yeah and then of course you know mentioning no names but you know you go to some teachers and hang around some non duality people and they they're very identified with with this idea of oh oh yes I used to be a person but I'm no longer a person yeah you know I used to have a self but no my my self completely disappeared on the 23rd of January um 1997 yeah. I used to have an ego but that 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 just one day I was walking through the supermarket and my ego just disappeared forever and it hasn't come back you know it's beautiful I mean it's look I don't not to judge anybody and everyone's on their own path but just for me it just got to the point where that I just realized that's just all my, that's just all my mind creating all these narratives. And like you said, which I think is very true. It's just creating a new, a new identity, uh, you know, a new spiritual identity of I, I am, you know, oh, I, I am not, I am not a person anymore. I, my, myself has a hundred percent vanished. And therefore I'm better than you. And therefore I'm superior. And therefore I'm more enlightened and more spiritual. I and mean, it's just the same old, it's the same old game you know it's it's um i have more money than you or i'm more special more enlightened or have i have it gets more subtle doesn't it? i have less of a self than you you know i'm i'm more yeah. absent i'm more my person is more absent than your person it's like and it's just like it's the same game if that's non-duality to be that. honest i think i think i wrote an article about this once if that's non-duality i have no interest if if that's what we mean by non-duality is just mind games and trying to prove how non-dual we are mm -hmm. i just yeah. I just have no interest it's and it's just silly it's just um but yeah, I, I also get it. I was really stuck in that for many years, you know, and I felt very superior to everybody because I was so free of a self. And, my, you know, and what I couldn't see that that, that was my new self, you know, that, that was my new identity. I was identified as being someone who had no identity. And it was the huge identity. You know, it was my ego that was saying, I have no ego. It was my mind saying, I have, my mind disappeared last week. But it's you know in hindsight it's 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 funny when we talk about it we can kind of see the humor in that but like you know when you're stuck in that as I'm, I'm sure it sounds like you've been through a similar thing yeah. when you're stuck in it it's deadly serious it's deadly serious you know yeah. you're fighting it feels like you're fighting for your life yeah but well, um I must say I can really relate to your story in the sense that I I was born in 1980 as well <laughs> oh we're the same age deja vu we, this yeah. is real deja vu I was born in June. Uh, July, July, yeah, and I wanted to, but uh, because I I stalked you a little bit, and I heard oh, that dear. you uh, that you wanted to be a filmmaker, um, and that's wow, you really did some stalking. That's pretty advanced stalking. That yeah. that was that must have been buried somewhere deep on the internet. That's no, well, it was on a in a podcast. You, you oh, shared okay. this, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I forgive yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm you like, so much. How the hell do you know this stuff about me? It's, oh, because I said it on a podcast. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. And you worked for the BBC, and I also wanted to be a filmmaker, and I oh, wow. studied journalism. Uh, worked for some uh, TV programs as an editor and director, uh, 
and uh, and journalist as a reporter and camera yeah. journalist as well wow and i really um felt what you were saying like you, you, you at, at a certain moment you felt like this is not what, what I'm meant to do this is not really me this is not something that fits me really and I felt the same thing and and I really thought also that um, the story I'm telling is not the real story it's not my story uh, it was a really deep feeling also and and the other thing is that I went through a really horrible um well, it's not a divorce, but I I was in love with a with a girl, uh, deeply in love, and and uh, I lost myself in the relationship. It yeah. was a it was a toxic relationship. Yeah. So I lost myself in that, and you had pretty much the same experience. But... Are you the Dutch version of me? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> spooky. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a very very similar oh, yeah. experience in my in my early twenties. Very similar thing. I I was. It was with this girl and I just completely lost myself, you know, and I, I thought she was going to save me. That's why yeah. I believed. And what I realize now is I was looking for enlightenment. I was looking for happiness. I was, I was looking mm. for all of that through a person. And then it's, you know, a few late, few years later, the, the same dynamic was there, but it shifted to spiritual enlightenment. Well, if she's not going to save me, <laughs> then bloody spiritual enlightenment better bloody save me. Otherwise, all my, that's all my options, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I think it's the, the same. same yeah. yeah, it's the same. It's the same seeking dynamic. You know, it's it's like looking for, call it. You can call it whatever you want. Looking for wholeness. Looking for love. Looking for peace. Looking for safety. Looking for home. I think it's like looking for home. Mm. And we look for home in you know worldly success or in love relationships or in yeah in in, in spiritual enlightenment. You know, maybe if I just keep going to the, these retreats and keep reading these spiritual books and keep praying and keep meditating. And again nothing wrong with any of these activities you know it's it's all done in total innocence but at some point the question really hits you well what what the f I, I can swear I can't what the <laughs> fuck am I looking for like where yeah. is this headed where is this going like where am I trying to get to mm. and it's once that question really hits you and as it did me it was kind of shocking because shit I don't actually I don't actually know what I'm looking for I mean I I just I just I just know I have to keep looking you get get to that point where I don't I don't quite know what I'm looking for, but I know that I have to keep looking because I know that it can't be this. Like, I, I think, and I think that's what's underlying the whole thing is because this present moment is not enough. There's a deep dissatisfaction with this present moment, with the way I, the way I am now. So I need to run. I need to chase. I need to seek. And yeah, you know, chasing spiritual enlightenment or chasing, like we talked about, maybe one day my, my ego will vanish. So we chase that. Or maybe one day, you know, the separate self will fall away. So we chase that. Or maybe one day, well, this spiritual teacher had this incredible experience. You know, they were whatever, walking through the park one day and then the, all the suffering fell away and it never returned, blah, blah. It's like, well, I want that, you know, but we're still chasing, seeking or, or just seeking spiritual experiences. Yeah. You know, being I mean, a lot of being. Uh, yeah. Exhuming I mean, lives. a lot of spiritual seekers you know, bless them. And they're just seeking experiences. They're seeking the next high, basically, you know, the next big experience, the next shift, the next insight, the next. Um, and again, you know, it's done in innocence because I, it, it's scary. I think it's scary to stop doing that. Mm. That can be really scary. It's like, well, then, yeah, but if I stopped seeking, if I stopped chasing, if I stopped retreat after retreat after retreat or whatever, whatever the addiction is, if I stop doing that, it's like, whoa, and who the, who the hell, I'll stop saying fuck, who the, who the, who the hell, who the hell would I be? Like if I stopped chasing, seeking, well, then I would have to stop and then I would have to be here. Then I would have to actually experience my present experience. You know, I think Krishnamurti said something like that. You know, it's like, why, why do we keep chasing? Why do we keep running? Because because if we stopped, we'd have to face ourselves as we are. And that's think, scary. Yeah. And that's, and that's like the last thing that we want to do. Yeah. The, the the last big barrier on your way yeah. uh, is self-love, self-acceptance. This yeah. is it. What I am right now is it. Yeah. This world is it. It's not going yeah. to be an amazing, uh, exhuming, light exhuming landscape. I'm not going to be a radiant being or uh, a body made of light. It's just uh, this. This right here. Yeah, I'm not going to be special. That's 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 yeah. the, that's that's the kick, you know. That's there's the rub. Oh, I think my camera <laughs> just moved. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll just push it back with my foot. Um, Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be special. Mm. Yeah, you know, and it's like I because I I remember when that first when that first hit me, there was a a terrible sense of disappointment, like a terrible sense of it's like what you mean it's just it's just this moment. What? No, that no no it can't just be this moment. It's this is too it's too ordinary. What you mean just just sitting here breathing? You know, hearing the sound of the the air conditioning and the feeling sensations in my body and you know my feet on the ground this, no wait no this is so this is almost nothing this is nothing compared to what i was promised the light the light show and the, and the fireworks and the ecstatic this and the you know 70 79th level of consciousness and the astral planes and all compared to all of that this is shockingly boring ordinary yeah ordinary you know, so it, it can be a it can be a real shock, and I I get why people, I get it why people don't want to just stop or ha- have resistance to slowing down and stopping because you kind of have to get through that barrier. It's, it's a shock sometimes of ha- like how ordinary this is, and then there's that part of you that's like, no, it, it can't be this ordinary. It can't be. I remember that very strongly many years ago. It's like no, my mind was really fighting this because I think it wants to be you know it wanted to be special. And it wants to reach a goal. And it wants to, and yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it, it wants to succeed. It wants to reach a goal. But the thing about this, it's no goal. It's letting and go. it's not an it's yeah. not an achievement. It's not an attainment. It's not something that you can grab and say, "I have it now." Look at me, everybody. Yeah. It's 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 not. It doesn't it doesn't make you special. It's and it's almost the, you know it's almost the opposite of that. It's it's brings you to a place of of deep um, humility and and not knowing. Mm. You know, you don't get to be the expert. Of course, that can also happen. That the mind can, you know, the yeah. mind. I think the mind is desperate to create a new identity. Just give me fucking, give me something, give me something. <laughs> that right, well, like a bit of a paradox. I mean, you're someone who who writes a lot of books, uh, telling other people what sh- what you are experiencing, really. Yeah. Um, well, it is. It is a paradox. Yeah. You know, and I've, you know, to be really honest, I've grappled with that paradox over the years. You know, I mean, you know, I've I've been very close to that question for many years. Why, why, why do I write about this? Like, why do I speak? You know, if 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 it's really true that ultimately there's no experts on this, you know, if, if it's true that I'm really not special, then what gives me the right to, you know, to be Jeff Foster and be the be the, you know, to go around talking to people about well whatever we're calling this non-duality or you know whatever what you know so you know and it it is somewhat paradoxical mm. you know on one hand there's nothing to get there's nothing to teach on the other hand you know there there is this sometimes this this enjoyment of just you know in a, in in a in a kind of a lighthearted way and, and not not holding too tightly to the language but but trying to convey a a sense of it through through language through you know through poetry sometimes through talks through writing through, you know it's it's like knowing that ultimately it can't and this is the paradox knowing that ultimately it can't be captured in words or concepts knowing that ultimately i don't know i it's not something that i have and others don't but still given given all of that all of that is true still there's there's this and i, I think that, you know there's this just love of um expression and 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 um and i also think that's part of it i also think sorry it maybe it's a creative force wanting to happen yeah 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 well yeah it's just like you know when when i was a kid like like you mentioned um you know you you stalked me um no you didn't (laughs) no no sorry you didn't stalk me it's not stalk it's not stalk it's not technically it's not stalking when i willingly share it in public so Mm. so yeah, yeah i'll take that back um Sorry, this is my British sense of humor. I'm not That's sure right. if it. I love I'm it. not sure if it goes down no, with no, Dutch that. people. We are really direct as well, so no problem. That's at good. All. Yeah. Uh, now I've completely forgot what I was talking about. Yes, this the, the the creativity, you know, and I think that that same impulse that was in me when I was a child that wanted to um, tell stories and make movies and for me, but even back then it was. I remember very clearly it was never about being famous or popular or being the best. It was all there was some deep down. It was it was something to do with touching touching people it was something to do with 
not fixing them or, or, or changing them or um but touching them on like on like a heart level and i think that you know i think maybe that's still what's coming through here you know there's there's um you know it's a, it's a, it's a strange thing because i know that ultimately i can't change anybody i can't i don't want to fix anybody i I can't ultimately I can't help anybody. You know, ultimately, I don't know what's best for anybody. I don't know what's best for the person in front of me. I don't know what's best for them. Mm. I I can't really advise them. Um, but I guess, you know, there's so there is just this sense of sharing, you know, whatever comes out of this vessel, just sh sharing it, you know, in, in like this and in, in conversations, because yeah. it's all a conversation, really, you know. And I think ultimately I'm always just talking to myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, sh sh yeah. Sharing this in conversations and then writing and in poetry and then the, you know, the the events that I do and and maybe someone you know hears that that music. It's just like it's like music and, may and maybe someone's touched by it. Maybe, maybe it, they it, it mo they're moved by it. Maybe they can dance on it. They can dance with it. Yeah. Maybe they're inspired by it. Maybe they hate it. Maybe they listen to what I'm saying. And they what he's so full of shit. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah. okay it's all about. you know but it, it is just like music because you know a piece of music isn't to everybody's taste and 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 you know um it doesn't mean, really mean anything no no <laughs> and like the same piece of music you know one person could hear it and just feel nothing it, it's meaningless it's just noise and that another person could hear it and it it changes their life i mean i've had that experience many times over the years with a piece of music it's moved me so yeah. deeply but it's always a surprise it's a surprise it's you never know or and maybe. then maybe you listen to the same piece of music the following day or the following year and you have a completely different response and it does mm -hmm. it doesn't even touch you and that's a mystery so i think i've learned over the years just to kind of let let go just 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 you know send send your words out into the world send or send you know it's obviously it's not ultimately about the words i guess it's the energy behind them send it out into the world and some people will resonate some people won't but i never for one moment tell myself that I'm the teacher or I'm the expert or that I have it and they don't or that I know and they don't it's this is this is just music it's you know I'm, and 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 anyway can't even remember what we were talking about I can't <laughs> well, remember what the question was or what we were talking about but yeah it's more music it's <laughs> it's, it's probably becoming a bit boring for the people who are listening to this podcast not not what you're saying but I said uh, in a couple of podcasts I don't know why I'm making this podcast really i've got, got no clue but it just happens it just yeah it's, it's, it feels like it's flowing it's it's happening it's uh, I, I i put no pressure behind it it's just working it's just it's just create a force wanting to uh yeah. wanting to establish something yeah. well it's beautiful it's like it's like watching a bird build its nest why are you building your nest why are you building your... <laughs> like oh it's watching you know our, uh, our four-month-old daughter you know, she's just begun to be able to sit up because, you know, in the past, <laughs> she she was just flopped back on the bed and so suddenly overnight, like a miracle, she 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 can sit up. And it's like, why? Why did you? <laughs> why are you sitting up now? Why? 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 Yeah, it's just life. It's the, it's the movement no reason. of yeah. life. Why does the grass grow, grow? I mean, look, we could become philosophers and we could talk for 20 hours about sure. why the grass grows and we could write books and some people have i guess and like but i don't think we're talking on that on that level that's the endless you know. game of, uh, of the yeah. mind trying to explain everything yeah, they were one of my favorite ever interviews it's actually obviously it's not a non-duality interview it's an interview <laughs> with um marlon brando you know the oh you wow. know, it's con considered to be you know one of the greatest screen actors of of all time and it's it was when he was older in, in his later years and the interviewer bless her she asked him I can't remember the exact words, but it was similar. It was like, why, why do you act? Or it was something like that. Why, why did you choose acting? Or why, why? It was something a deep question like that. And his response was, why, why did you just move your finger just then? It was something. It was something like that. I don't remember exactly, but he, mm. and it kind of you could see her mind just kind of stopped. He, and I think what he was trying to get to was just this this mysterious flow of life. You know, why did you just? Beautiful. Why did I just move? Why did I just move my hand? I didn't have a it's the mystery it's it's the vast intelligence of life you know it's why ego. how the hell did we end up how the hell did we end up doing this pon podcast podcast for insect how 
Like how the what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, right. Can you? Yeah. What the... <laughs> That's can that be, the title? can that be the title? What the fuck are we doing? What the fuck are we both doing? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Sure. Why not? Sure. Well, that's it. Why not? Yeah. yeah. And that, that's what I try and lean into is, well, why Why not? Why not? Yeah. Why not just keep sharing and asking these questions and, and, and having these conversations and exploring? And, you know, if ultimately you could say, what's the point? Because it's all just... Yeah, that's what some non-dual teachers say is like, you know, well, what's what's the point doing anything? Because it's not going to get you anywhere. But then the reflection of that is, well, why not? Why not? Yeah. Not even saying seeking is wrong. Not no, even no. saying seeking is wrong. Why, why not seek? Why not go to retreats and meditate and go try, go to India and live live in on Mount um uh, where, wherever Mount something for you know living? Why why not? You know, we're not even not saying that's wrong or that the everyone's deluded or everyone's misguided or everyone's so dumb you know it's not not saying that at all maybe maybe that's part of it that's part of the mystery it's like why why do we feel called to do what we do you know to, it, it's yeah it just for me it just always comes back to the to the mystery you know what you like watching my a few months ago watching my daughter being born you know where does hmm. Where does she go? What the what the this, the the mystery of life itself is right there. And then a few years ago, you know, watching my dad sitting, I mentioned before, sitting at my dad's bedside, you know, while while he passed away, the mystery of where what is what is this? What is this? Mm. Not like on an intellectual level, no. like on a, a on a on a heart level, on a what what is the what is this? That, that final breath and that long exhale. And then the body, the total stillness. And like your mind just stops. There's no explanation. There's no where 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 did he come from? Where is he going? Even even those questions just disappear into the silence. And there's it's just wonder. You know, yeah. there's just these moments of absolute wonder. Absolute wonder. I've experienced this as well with my mother. She passed away a couple of years ago, and. Uh... <laughs> I cared for her uh, together with my father for the last couple of months of her life. And uh, it was an amazing experience. Of course, it was heartbreaking to see her deteriorating and, and not being able to do some stuff anymore, not being able to walk, uh, having to be changed, uh, everything. It's heartbreaking. But it also, there was a mysterious, beautiful experience in in some way and it's it's inexplainable it's 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 yeah. amazing and certainly the last couple of minutes and the moment that she passed away you know that she's not there anymore there this the her essence has gone yeah and that's that's an amazing experience it's also brings uh, you together with your family and because it's a shared experience and it's a shared mm -hmm. love so mm -hmm. there's something really beautiful about really gut wrenching experiences yeah. as well yeah 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 and i i think um especially after what's happened to me the, the past few years with the illness i i mm. more than ever um I'm, I'm more than ever i i truly believe that the the, the divine whatever again whatever word you want to use that the sacredness that the divinity that that the miracle of life itself it, it's it's there even in in those experiences even in those experiences those moments of just the gut wrenching pain and 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 heartbreak like it feels like your heart has just been torn out of your chest and and the world you know everything is just falling like those moments too are sacred and i know that's not it's not always easy to see that you know and and, and it's it can sound a bit glib and i'm not what i'm not saying is Oh, you have to love. You have to love those moments. It's not even that, you know. You because then the mind turns that into the new goal. Oh, I I have to I have to love moment. No, but no, we're not we're not we're not even saying that. It's like I remember similar to you. Um, I think it was a, I think it was maybe a year before my dad died, and you know he had he had Alzheimer's, and it was quite quite advanced, and he was forgetting how to do everything forgetting how to dress himself it was incredible it, it's like watching my baby but in reverse like with with the baby like one day she can't sit up and the next day suddenly she can it's like a miracle but with my dad it was like that in, in reverse so like one day he can dress himself and the next day he 
Not only has he forgotten, but he has no memory of ever dressing himself. And then, you know, he, he couldn't shower. He couldn't wash himself anymore. He, And then one day he he forgot how to have a bath. It, you know, it was quite incredible to see that that process, like the mind deteriorate, deteriorating. Um, and in, in a way, I think he was like falling back into presence, you know, mm. into in, into not knowing which because i've been on this path for so many years it wasn't so scary for me it was it was it was okay i think i, I think i know the place that he's falling into this this not knowing and um so one day he just totally forgot how to have a bath and and i was like i was like dad would you would you like a bath um he's oh jeff what's what's that you know, and of course he had had thousands and that he loved my dad loved having his baths. I think it was the happiest I ever used to see him when, when he was having baths after work. Um, not that I watched my dad having baths a lot after anyway, that's a Freudian thing. Um, uh, <laughs> um, but I was like, dad, would you, would you like a bath? And he was, Oh, just, yes, yeah, Jeff, I'd love one. What do you, what do you do? And he was very much like, like a child. Um, and for me, this is like the essence of non-duality. You know, again, we could philosophize about non-duality until we're blue in the face. But for me, it's this is where it really comes alive, you know. And, and so I ran, I ran down a, a bath and just like a child, just like a child, you know, and he was so innocent and he was so excited, took his clothes off, got in the bath, and and I, I made sure he was okay. And I kind of walked out of the room and I kind of peeked back in. And he was just like splashing around in the bath, just just like a little child. And uh, I tell you, it was one of the most heartbreaking things I'd ever seen in my life. And and at the very same time, it was I was so full of wonder and gratitude and, and beauty. Like it was both, it was deeply paradoxical. So it kind of relates to what you were just saying. It was and I I'll, I'll never forget I, I I walked I walked out and I walked, I sat on the stairs and I and I just wept. Just the total heartbreak of like it was like death and rebirth all in one. It's like my old dad was 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 gone uh, but at the same time the very same moment there was this new playful mm. uh, human being that i i could begin to meet just begin i could begin to meet him he's eight, 83 four years old and i it was a it was a beginning and it was all of that all at once and i it was like my, there was a deep grief and heartbreak but at the same time this this deep gratitude and joy and you know it felt i felt so deeply alive i felt so deeply alive in in the midst of all of that and i think that's also a testament to to this path if you want to call it a path this pathless path of like you know just learning over the years how how to lean into those experiences how to be with how to be with that much life inside of me and not run away from it and not numb it out and not drink it away and not take it out on anyone but just to sit in the middle of the 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 joy and the heart the heartbreak you know that that kind of beautiful broken open place but to, to me that that's that's it if we're talking about non-duality then we're also talking about the paradox the paradox of non-duality as duality you know that what, what it, it's not non-duality and sometimes it's spoken about as as being it's not this cold empty heartless lifeless awareness you know it's not this detached place um it's it's anyway this is just how i would say this it's it's full it's full of life you know our vulnerable humanity is absolutely included it includes the the heartbreak it includes the joy the the bliss and the the boredom of being human so so and i think sometimes that gets missed out in non-duality teachings and 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 you know these days i'm i i um i I'm just very I'm very passionate about a, an all a, a radically all inclusive non duality, a non duality that is, is again it's such a paradox it's such a paradox but we love paradoxes I think all the life is in the paradox, it's it's a non duality that that is one with duality that that embraces duality that 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 that, that, that infuses duality that, that that holds duality that that is not at war with duality it's not separate from the expression of duality it's it's the ocean that is inseparable from its waves and it doesn't even sit what it doesn't do is sit back and go oh well that's not real mm. you know because that that is a that that's a little mind trick that and i was so stuck in that for years i was so stuck in that and it it, it was you know i it's like an ocean without its waves it's like no 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 i i'm in non-duality now Le 
leave me alone life don't don't touch me i'm i'm untouchable you know you kind of that's that's a place that we can fall into as we become i'm i'm the untouchable awareness mm. and again you know bless our hearts but it's just another place to land it's just another identity you know and, it, and then for me even that fell away and that's why i have to thank life for giving me these experiences like having bathing my dad because it 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 cracks you open even more deeply no no it's not even that it's not even pure awareness it's not even that it's well, more mysterious than even that yeah you no know? yeah you, you you've said well i have to thank life for all experiences uh, but you've had a really big challenge the last couple of years by having a really bad case of lyme's disease yeah even affecting your brain yeah and you were really open about your emotional struggles and pain and suffering. Um, it, that's something not all teachers would do. <laughs> well, yeah. It's funny because I, I've uh, recently I, I look back on some of the things that I wrote on Facebook when I was going through what I was going through, and I was like, Jesus, I wrote that, I shared mm. that. Oh my god! But, you know, I think I think it just got to the point. It was like, fuck it, I. I have to be I have to be completely honest I ha if I have to have integrity around this like I'm not hiding I cannot hide this anymore yeah I mean it was this was I guess this was a couple of years ago now and um yeah I mean it was it was terrifying it was it was neurological Lyme disease and I, I think I'd had it a long time and and it just the symptoms got extremely bad and it, it you know I mean I won't go into details because it was I've, I've written a lot about it on in public but you know it was it, what probably I think it was the most humbling experience of my life you know and it really talk about you know life pushing you right to the edge oh my god and um yeah I mean I I know I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it you know I and there were moments you know there something uh, you, you, I, I remember that you once said that if there's suffering or suffering there there might be something that isn't allowed that causes the suffering beneath the suffering is do you think still think that's true or well look i mean what, what my my experience was um and it taught me so much you know because you know i was i was really i was really struggling there were there were days with with all of the symptoms and like the the, the neurological symptoms the, the the bodily symptoms that they were just you know drained of energy there were some days i barely had enough energy to to walk downstairs it was and for a long time we didn't know what it was and 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 i went saw a few doctors they, they just kind of gave up you know you, you, you know how it is with some of these these conditions like doctors have no clue and 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 so at some point is this maybe this is just my life now maybe you know and i mean thank goodness eventually i was properly properly diagnosed with, with lyme and could get the right treatment but there were days you know um in the midst of all those symptoms where it felt utterly unbearable if, if, if I'm really just completely honest, it felt totally beyond my capacity to to handle, to be present with. And, you know, this this did go through my mind. It's like, this is why it was so humbling, because Jesus Christ, I was meant to be the guy. I was meant to be the guy that could be present with anything. I've written these books like The Deepest Acceptance and Falling in Love with Where You Are and you know, and, 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 and I am I, I pure awareness, this and blah, 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 and all these things. And, and there I was. And I think I wrote, I wrote a piece, uh, you know, on Facebook called, um, will you remind me of my own teachings? Mm. Will you, because that's actually how it felt. It's like, I, I can't, this, this is actually beyond my capacity, you know, and there, and, there, and there were moments where, you know, and I can understand why this happened now. My mind, my mind was thinking, well, may, maybe it's time to, you know, just end things you know and that's uh that's just what the mind does when 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 you do you know and it's it's a it's the mind solution it, it's like well that's okay that's a, that's an option that's an option and look thank thank god thank god i thank god every day that i kept going mm -hmm. um but yeah you know there there, there were moments where i was lit i was on my knees literally i was on my knees begging the universe for just like 1% relief from the symptoms um you know and it was it was really humbling it was humbling stuff you know and it's funny because there was there was this thought it's like jeff you should be doing better than this you know that one yeah yeah sure you know that there, one there's there's the ego going oh, there's yeah. the ego you know yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. bless it it's trying to help you but it's also kind of violent and relentless it's like 
Jeff, you should be doing better than this. You've been on this path for 15, 20 years. You've written all these books. You're you're Jeff Foster. You know, you you go around the world telling people to be present and and look at you. You can't, you, you, you can't do it. But, and then, but you see, like looking back now, I'm so I'm so grateful because what it did, I was like, oh, at some point I realized shit, even that, even, even that, even the resistance, even the non-acceptance, even the the struggle. Even that, you know, just you're on your knees and you're out of resources and you, you're you just praying to the universe. Even that is part of the sacredness. Even that is an expression of non-duality. You know, I, 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 I now I know that now deep in my bones, you know, it's this is a I know deep in my bones now. I mean, I knew it before, but now I know it more deeply than ever that this if non-duality doesn't include and bless our vulnerable, fragile humanity, then it, it's, I don't think it's, I, I don't know what it is. It, it doesn't, then it's meaningless to me. If this, so, so um, has, has I mean, it, like, I, I, sorry, has, go has it deepened your experience? So yeah, like maybe it really has more from a mental to a really deep experience. Even, yeah. Oh yeah. Even more, just more deep, more deep than ever, really, you know, um, and just and just 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 the level of gratitude I have for just being alive. I mean, I I literally st still wake up every single morning, just grateful to have a day, grateful to be alive. Because you know what, we we so take it for granted, you know. And I looking back, even even e even I, even the great Jeff Foster was <laughs> I was taking things for granted in my life, you know. Mm. And I think that's one of the the, the blessings of illness. If, if when when you can come through to the other side, sometimes. If you can keep going, you know, you, you can break through into that place of just gratitude, like gratitude, like gratitude for being able to get out of bed in the morning with these things we just take for granted, you know, and I know that there's many people on this planet now who are, don't, can't get out of bed. They, they, don't, they, they haven't got the strength or the, this, you know, the illness or the, you know, it just, it, it opened, it opened my heart even more deeply in, in, in compassion for just just being human, just, you know, being human sometimes is just, it's a thing, you know, mm -hmm. it's not always easy being human. And, you know, we, we, we struggle and we suffer and sometimes we fall to our knees, you know, and our, our hearts break. And somehow, you see, I used to believe many years ago that enlightenment, that if I was enlightened, then none of that would happen. And I realize now there's just, it's, that's just fear. That's just fear speaking. It takes courage to be human you know and i mean there's so many more things i could say but yeah i think it's this it's really deep it's really deepened my understanding of again not on a head level but on a on a body level on a heart level of non-duality it, it's radically inclusive and it and it's it, it it it's you know we're not talking about just circle back to what we we're saying in the beginning we're not talking about a special state where you don't feel fear anymore or you you never doubt ever again or you know you're you're never you're never going to struggle to accept the moment ever again you know i think that may be one of the ideas that i had that at some point you know you just reach this place where i'm i live i i live in total acceptance in every single moment i'm just you know and even that is just another idea this is a, a moment by moment teaching so you know make, what maybe, really is yeah I mean, yeah if, if if the suffering is there if, if the feeling that this shouldn't happen to me is there yeah uh, total acceptance is the real well real is the way to yeah totally be there with the thing that's happening yeah yeah i mean i i, I often think about um jeez i'm not i'm not comparing myself to jesus <laughs> Although my mum says I look a bit like Jesus because of the hair. Well, you're growing the hair, yeah. Well, yeah. I haven't washed I haven't washed my hair in four I think four or five months now. I'm doing the the no poo. Oh, all right. It's called yeah. no poo, the no poo thing. It's where you just don't use shampoo ever don't again. Use uh, poo in your hair. <laughs> Back to poo, yeah. <laughs> so this yeah. is a very very spiritual conversation, but, yeah. but but in a way it is though. This is the thing. This is I don't I no longer separate the material from the spiritual. It's all one mm. thing for me. Yeah. You know. It really right. genuinely is. It's it's all one. People talk about being spiritual or this is spiritual and this isn't. And that makes no sense to my heart. It, that split doesn't make any sense. Well, 
that joy is spiritual but anger isn't where where did where did that split happen that the the you know in incense and yoga mats or whatever are spiritual but but dog shit or baby shit isn't not like it's all made of the same it's all made of the same stuff you know the the mountains and the rivers and the the universe itself and the blades of grass and the flowers and my blind cat and this body your that body and and the and all the the movements in the body and the energies and the sensations if the, the the heartbreak is is itself an expression of that it can't be separate from that the the doubt how could that be separate from so so you know and again i'm not i'm not here to judge anyone but you know i i heard spiritual teachers over the years say things like well if there's you know if you still have doubt then you're not there yet if you still have anger then then blah 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 or if you still experience a flicker of fear if you dare experience a flick, flicker of fear then that's a sign that you're not enlightened yet i mean again i look i i get it it's a beautiful dream but but i think i think it's all an expression of fear i think we're afraid to be fully alive you know and that's what i love joseph campbell and that's what he, he always used oh, to say me too not, yeah love yeah to hear us see we are we are we are <laughs> it's deja vu yeah. uh he said one of my favorite things he said is i we're not looking deep down we're not looking for enlightenment or this or that what i'm paraphrasing deep down what we're all actually looking for is a feeling of being fully alive and like we've just said you could you could have doubt and be fully alive in that doubt you could be totally heartbroken but if you t lean into it turn towards it there is so much life in that experience so i think we're talking about finding freedom and uh, you know finding love inside of each experience even the most shaky vulnerable painful human experience you know even you know i think of you know bless bless me you know how many year two years two years ago two and a half years ago on my knees you know on on the grass just i can't do this i can't can't do this anymore this is too much i can't these symptoms can't you know I've, looking back even that there was there was there was love there call it whatever you want there was god call it whatever you want god non-duality presence whatever you want doesn't matter it was it was right there it was it was right there even in that experience you know so it has this experience has has very much deepened my call it understanding or knowing or call it whatever you want of it's 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 in everything it's just in everything and it's not something that someone has and someone doesn't and it's not about being in a perfect state it's about um what is it about? I don't fucking know what it's about. <laughs> That's what it's, just about. Blabbing. That's it's about. What it's about. Yeah, it really is the not knowing. That's where it all it all circles back to that not knowing. Mm. Uh, the, the and, and and the wonder. You know, and, and and you know, just circling back just to my illness, you know, the looking back, I see the I can say that now. I couldn't say it whilst I was in it, but I can look back and I can say I'm, I'm great, I'm grateful for having gone on that journey into the hell realms you know and, and and so grateful for coming out of it on on the other side and i can and again i can say it now somehow somehow it was meant to happen in a way that i don't quite understand you know somehow in the end i found the right treatment and the right people and the and and um but it, it has it has definitely you know deep and also just as i said deepened my compassion for humanity and and for anyone who is suffering and struggling i i i less easily dismiss suffering now mm -hmm. great yeah that's a great thing yeah i, I, lo I love that you uh place the the, the 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 message like remember me please remember me because that's the thing yeah. we're really doing all the time remembering each other of what really is yeah so yeah, yeah so i i yes remember me yeah i i didn't finish my thought about oh sorry no it's not your thought I, I if you notice i i go off on all i go off on all these tangents yeah like eventually i circle back come back home <laughs> <laughs> um i often think about jesus on the it was it was the jesus the beard thing jesus on the cross you know in that moment where he's um you know in the midst of the most the most unimaginable not just physical pain but emotional pain you know on the 
the crucifixion it what it's not just the most intensely painful physical thing you can experience also on an emotional level on a psychological level that that sense of abandonment that sense of loss that sense of having to leave everybody he loves in the world that that sense of betrayal you know it, it's it's pure abandonment on a psychological level and on a physical level just pure pain and you know and in the midst of that experience he you know he he cries out he cries out do we know who he's crying out to to god to the heavens to the mystery to himself who who knows who knows but he cries out you know why uh, father why why have you forsaken me the universe where have you gone you know uh, maybe he's talking to himself like presence awareness consciousness like my my own wisdom where has it gone i can't i can't do this anymore you know mm. and uh i often think about that because it's like god if like that's god himself cries out in pain some god himself sometimes or herself even the divine sometimes has moments where they like, i can't do this anymore it's too much you know and, and i think god if if even god struggles sometimes if, if even forgets. god forgets forgets yeah. yeah so then oh i get it now i get what that story is maybe really pointing to even the forgetting is divine yeah, maybe yes. jesus had to forget he had to fully experience that forgetting he had to experience himself mm. forgetting and that abandonment and crying out to the heavens and that had to play itself out that scream i can't do that. it's too much i can't be with this like th this god is not here basically that's what he's screaming and then, of course, in the next moment, he there's a remembering again. So, oh, and then there's a relaxation back into his experience. And, and then he can pass peacefully, you know, and where he goes. Nobody knows. Well, I mean, maybe on a non-dual level, we could we could say that there's a remembering of his true nature. Mm. But what, yeah. but I, I love that story because uh, and maybe that's why that story touches so many people. And it has done for however many thousands of years, even if you're not religious. It's it's a for me it's a beautiful story of you know of 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 being a vulnerable human and 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 having moments where we forget and then we have to be being kind to ourselves that like we have to allow ourselves to forget and then so when I think back about my illness and again I'm not comparing myself to Jesus but it's um <laughs> but you know it's bless my heart those those moments where it was too much I think he, God God was God was there the whole time. And again, use the word God or presence or non-duality. I wasn't actually ever divided from it, you know? Where could it go? Where could it go? But even so even the forget, it was there even in the forgetting. And that's beautiful. You know, it's like there's not this pressure sometimes to be to be perfect, you know? And then also the pressure, like when you, you're, bloody, you're a bloody teacher. And that's why I wanted to, I think, part of why I wanted to write that stuff on Facebook, just to smash the... To smash image. that awful lie and that awful illusion that teachers somehow have it easy and that they don't suffer and that they mm. and that they're they're somehow beyond their humanity. Yeah. Um. I just yeah. wanted to smash that once and for all. It's like, and I also just wanted to be in integrity. And I also thought, like, if I ever, because back then I, you know, I didn't know if I genuinely didn't know if I was going to survive. Genuinely didn't know if I was going to make it another few days, let alone weeks. It was that was way too far. So I remember thinking, I was like, if this is the last thing I ever fucking write, if this is the last thing I ever put out into the world before I go, let it, let it be fucking honest. That that's that's what the world deserves. That 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 that's what these people who have followed me for all these years they they deserve my raw, brutal, painful honesty. That's that's probably you know? total acceptance, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's that's that that that's the paradox, isn't it? That's the irony, really um yeah. Yeah, yeah it was and, and again i wasn't trying to model blah 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 it was i, I felt i it it just had to come out you know so i'm 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 surprised and grateful and shocked I, i'm te you know teaching again i mean i never back then I, I thought well even if i get better even if there's a tiny chance that i get better i'll probably won't be i won't be well enough to to travel again or to teach that was a million miles away yeah so that i mean the the, the fact that you know this past year I'm, I'm back you know i'm able to teach again able to talk to you today right you know yeah, it's, that's, it's, that's it's a miracle i mean it's just it, it's a miracle and i don't take any of it for granted um but i you know one, one thing i i am i'm glad i'm glad that i kept going 
I'm glad that I kept going, even in the midst of the darkness, because the truth is you never know. You never, ever, ever, ever fucking know what's on the other side. Yeah. You never know. So, so, and then, so, you know, I, I, I feel like I've come back into the world as not as a bloody teacher, not as an expert, not as, not as, no, that's just, it's so boring to be the expert and to be the, te- no, I come back as whatever I am, you know, a human being who I've had some experiences. I've, I've been to hell and back a few times and, you know, I've had some things to share that may inspire some people, touch some people, bore some people anger some people or maybe just give some people the courage just just to just to keep going you know just one more day one more step and is there something that reminds you of what you really are or like you ask other people to remember you but do you have any practices or things that you put picked up on afterwards or just being in in in, in the moment or is there something well obviously i'm just in yourself? the moment I'm just yeah. obviously in the moment, 24 hours yeah, sure. a day, you know, yeah. it's my full-time job is just to, that was it. It's a joke, by the way. <laughs> um, you, you thought I was serious. Well, you know, well, you know, I'm totally accepting uh, <laughs> the fact that you're you 24 are. hours in, in the... That's a testament to how accepting you are. That was beautiful. That was, that was very beautiful. You, you just accepted me. For... <laughs> that was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I know it sounds cheesy, but I'm going to say it anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't, um, I don't have a formal practice these days. I, I don't have like a formal meditation practice. I, in some sense, I do feel, I know this is going to sound cheesy, but it is kind of true. I do kind of feel that my life is, my whole life is like a meditation. Um, and if, look, by, by meditation, I'm not talking about some, special practice or special technique or like visualizations if i'm talking about meditation what i really mean by that is just it's just being present it's just being with um whatever arises so in some sense i do i do for especially especially since the illness it's really deepened this as well um i do feel that just my ordinary day you know just waking up in the morning having a shower putting on clothes you know, being with my partner, Alice, being with my baby, going shopping, just ch- every conversation, having a walk by the river, like what, whatever I'm doing is, is a kind of meditation, you know, just hearing the sounds and sensing the sensations. And I mean, there are, there are things that I do. Like I love, I love music. I love listening to music, you know, certain pieces of music can really just, um, it's not that they, it's almost like certain pieces of music are, are like meditation bells. They 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 bring you back, you know. They 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 remind you of this sense of being alive. They remind you of presence itself. They remind you of the miracle, you know. So certain pieces of music do it. Certain movies do it. I love movies. I love going to the theater. I'm I'm doing my. <laughs> should I share this? I'm doing my I'm doing I'm doing my first ever acting class this weekend. Wow, I've done those. Yeah, as well. <laughs> really. Yeah. That's oh dear. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's, but great. Yeah. yeah. So you well, acting is I think is really spiritual as well because you're I leaving honestly believe who it. you are. My, and... I really believe it. Yeah. My my partner is a she's an actress and she's an acting teacher. Mm. So I have sat in on on um some of her classes. She she does something called act without acting. Um oh, I just she'll be so proud of me. I just plugged her uh, yeah. I just did an advert. <laughs> what you see what what a great partner I am. I haven't I haven't advertised my own shit. I've advertised her acting class, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Maybe a website as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. She has no, a uh, she has an Instagram. But it's called yeah. what she does is act without acting. She's almost teaching actors to to stop acting, to stop faking it, to yeah. to stop performing and to slow down and to and to to really be be open and be vulnerable and be present. You know, and that's really how we connected in, in a way in a way she's doing the very same thing as i'm doing but she's doing it you know she's working with actors and helping them just be be present and stop pretending to be sad and actually be sad stop pretending to be angry and actually find the anger within yourself yeah. so in a way it is i believe it's very much a spiritual practice sounds a bit i've seen like i've seen Slavsky, amazing uh, method yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i've yeah. seen amazing breakthroughs in in in, in actors um that she's worked with and very similar breakthroughs that happen on, on my retreats Pe- when people just Amazing. you know just kind of slow down and connect with their bodies and their breath and be present um 
you know it's 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 um it take and it takes some courage to go there um but yeah some beautiful transformations happen so yeah that's so that's I, yeah so that that really interests me i mean it always has i i love i, I love the art of acting so i'm going to dive into that you know and that's that's just, that's also an an exploration for me of like you know presence yeah. and so that yeah there's this but i don't yeah so i don't have a formal uh practice i mean i do lead meditations you know, in yeah, my workshops. That. You're, you're go, uh, going to come to Belgium and the, the Netherlands for two retreats in October and November? Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, that's true. Mm. Um, so, so can you tell a, bit, a little bit about what you're doing? In, uh, in <laughs> oh, God. Those, those <laughs> retreats, or are you just going with the moment being there and feeling what wants to happen? Yeah. I mean, I think we've established that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um but yeah, look, look with I mean with with the events, you know, I, I just kind of show up. I never I never plan. You know, I don't have I don't have a, a speech that I recite. I don't in some sense, this is why it's so paradoxical. I don't even really have a teaching. You know, I, a lot of teachers have a teaching. And they're very excited to you know, I can't wait to give you my this teaching. And you can hear the teacher. I really don't even have a teaching. So that's how I show up to events. I don't even have a teaching. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to say or, 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 but, you know, from, from a place of presence and stillness, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> um, words come and, 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 you know, we do meditations and I, you know, I talk a bit about my experiences. I mean, just, just like this podcast mm -hmm. really. And um and you take questions and 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 uh, you know just invite just kind of inviting people really to to slow down and to to break that kind of addiction that yeah. we all have because I think we're all addicts. I've never met a single yeah. human being who isn't an addict on some level. You know, seeking something. Just give me something. <laughs> just the next thing. The next thing. And so I, it, it's I've gone. experienced that it really helps to just break for a little while from your environment as well just to break yeah. the patterns and yeah to, just to be uh and and just to follow the program that's really nice as well <laughs> just, yeah. just to, to be there be present and just let it all happen yeah. yeah to just surrender just to just surrender to the to the program and you get your breakfast and you have your lunch and you have that's your amazing. dinner <laughs> and you have to be in the meeting room so there's something quite relaxing in a way of uh about just it's like a yeah it's a form of surrender in a way it's true. I hadn't really thought about that, but it is that even that is just kind of a form of, even if your mind doesn't want to do it, even if your mind, I don't want to go to another meeting with Jeff. No, please. <laughs> it's like, thank you, mind. We're going. We're going to sit there, you know. But just that in itself is actually a practice. I mean, that that's a kind of meditation, yeah. you know, to 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 sit with, and this is what we explore in the meetings. You know, just you know for me meditation again it's not about having the perfect experience or an experience of the light or love or bliss all all those things can happen but it's really about just meeting what what comes up and if if what arises in meditation is that voice i don't want to be here fuck meditation oh god this retreat is so fuck old jeff he's just blabbing oh i just want to go home why did i waste my money on the jeff foster retreat oh my god oh can i just can i maybe i'll just I'll skip the next meeting and I'll I'll go and have whatever. Um, sorry, I was just channeling. That was um, great. <laughs> <laughs> this great, is a great advert. Great, great, for... great acting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that voice was. <laughs> this is a great. This is a great advert for my retreat, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but, but I mean, I mean, I'm making a, a serious point that 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 voice is very, very, very welcome. That voice is that voice of resistance, of fear. Mm. that voice that 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 seeking voice just anything but this please the next just give me something else that That's voice thing, yeah. even yeah even that voice is not an enemy it's not a mistake it's not a sign that you're so far away from enlightenment all those there's more ideas it's actually maybe that's just a part of you that wants to sit with you you know it's it's a friend and you don't have to give into it you don't have to obey it you don't you don't have to um it doesn't have to be your master, but just to to start to 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 see it and to and and to you know to to welcome it and and then maybe it stays and maybe it goes, but it doesn't matter. So there's real freedom in, in this kind of meditation. I think there's there's real freedom and there's real permission, and that's where the deep relaxation can come and the relief. 
It's like, yeah. oh my God, I don't have to be perfect. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a relief. I don't have to be spiritual. I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be non dual. Yeah. It's okay to be here. It's okay to be a mess. It's okay to be broken. And there's actually wholeness. The wholeness is actually right there in the brokenness. That the, the non-duality is not far away it's actually right there in the duality which is the the ultimate paradox like the the ocean is there in all of its waves without exception and then you don't even have to understand that it's not even about understanding it intellectually it's just this kind of feeling it something that you just sink into you know it's just oh that's probably the the pure bliss uh, that uh, campbell talks about as well yeah follow your bliss and uh yeah and of course, this well, the Satchitananda, the, the existence, yeah. consciousness, bliss that we are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Joseph and Campbell, you know, he did he did say I watched an interview with him recently. He did say that you know this follow your bliss thing. He did kind of qualify it by saying, look, it's not always going to be bliss. If you're following your bliss, it's not always going to be bliss. There's going to no. be moments of doubt, or moments where you're like, what the fuck am I doing? Part like, of the journey. I, yeah, and that's part of it. And he was, you know, that that's really important to remember as well. Mm. That even those moments are part of it you yes. know you have moments okay. following your heart following your bliss following your path whatever you want to call it you are going to have moments sometimes much more than moments of like profound doubt yep you know am i on the right path has I mean, it's all gone wrong do i have the capacity you're going to doubt your own capacity sure but just to remember that even those experiences are sacred they're deeply as sacred as the experiences of of joy and you know whatever they, the it's, it's all... i practice with my uh, the people i meet uh, in i'm a non-dual coach and therapist and the thing we always practice and through a deep uh, realization of everything is all right everything it's not just the things we see as good or yeah. bad or, or whatever but everything every feeling and, and go to Beautiful. that feeling go to, go to the fear go to the the Beautiful. doubt, the 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 sadness. Let it be. Let it all be. That's a good, yeah. great song as well. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I believe that that's the that's to me that that that's the real meaning of non-duality. It's it's not everything is included. It's not non-duality as opposed to anything else because then it would be dualistic. Dual. It's non. It, it's 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 and this is why. It, it, the place you can rest, I think, is in the paradox. I think the mind doesn't like paradoxes because it's like, well, how how can these two things that seem completely contradictory and opposite, how can they be true at the same time? You know, it's like either this one is true or that one is true. Either it's duality or it's non-duality, the absolute or the relative, the ocean or the waves. But of course, the, the real aliveness and the juice and the deep truth, I think, is 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 found in that very alive place at the heart of the paradox. That it's it's that it it's all included. It's there, as you say so beautifully. It's even in the the depths of the heartbreak. God, again, you use whatever God, life, consciousness, awareness, non duality, whatever, whatever. God has not even abandoned that place. No, no place is abandoned. Even the the depths of hell, the depths of hell, the depths of the heartbreak and the loneliness and the loss. Even in the depths of the heart of that experience, there is the light is is there. It's it has to be because it the light is you, and you, you are, not, are there. Yeah, you are not forsaken because you are not forsaken. Father is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, or mother, or it, whatever you yeah. want to call it. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever. Yeah, I mean, and and this is the yeah. point I think where where language kinds of kind of breaks down at, at some point, you know. I mean that, that's why I love uh, and like retreats when everything just Goes explodes quiet. into in, yeah choir or or laughter or laughter you know or, or tears well. this yeah. yeah yeah great yeah, yeah and then the words just don't matter so much anymore you know and, there, and there's a relief from that there's a relief from trying to understand non duality oh my god <laughs> there is a relief <laughs> trying to understand what can never be understood because because even that's what I came to discover that even even the even the non understanding is beautiful even even the non even understanding even the confusion is sacred you know it's so you don't need to understand non duality you know what no one needs to understand non duality and sometimes our understanding gets in the way our conceptual understanding actually gets in the way because now i i know but um and this is also why i love art i love music poetry 
that's pure awareness. yeah it's pure because in in like you know really good poetry when when it's it's really written from that place of, of presence it's it's not about the words it's it's about the gaps between the words and the stillness and the silence and then suddenly the poem just ends and you're you're just left and you feel so alive and you don't quite know why it, it, it's it kind of stops the mind and opens the heart and and you know um yeah. Well, the funny thing is, I, I I write poetry as well, and I don't dare say it, but um, I wrote a, a poem, and this thing just came to me in the morning at four o'clock or something. I, I wasn't wow. thinking; it was between dream and sleep, and it just came out of me. And well, it, it was perfect. I just had to work a bit on it to to make it complete. But Beautiful. that's I think that's pure awareness that's something that wants to happen wants to be said wants to be and that's yeah. i think that's a beautiful um, experience it's beautiful to, to experience this beautiful and so you're going to read that poem out for us now aren't you oh <laughs> i haven't uh, yes you are night. yes you are i'm night. taking over the podcast no i, I can't, can't, can't recite Jeff Foster it. podcast <laughs> coming live from uh, from london england and uh we have a yeah. wonderful poet on the line with so, no i'm joking you, you great have... yeah <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks so beautiful much. i mean that's that's uh yeah. i resonate with what you're saying that that's how it always happened for me i mean i don't see myself as a writer i don't see myself as a poet i don't i i, I honestly and that's just not that's not false humility i really just genuinely don't like i that's exactly i really resonate with your experience that that's how it happened for me these you know i one day there's just these words started to flow out and what I have learned over the years is just to trust, just, okay, just get them onto a page. Just, just, just allow it, you know? And then, yeah, but before you know it, you have, you have a, you know, I have a, I have a poetry book out. I mean, is it poetry? What is it? I don't, I don't know, but you know, some people seem to, you know, resonate with it. Just like if you, you know, if you, have you, have you shared your, uh, yeah, I've, I've put it on the Instagram and uh, oh, beautiful! I, I did some live uh, versions of it as well on stage. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was amazing, yeah? amazing reactions. People, and that's yeah. when you, you you know it's not really mine. It's something yeah. from from them as well. They resonate yeah. with the with with the lyric with the the poem, and then you know, okay, this is something you wrote as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not only me, and that's that's yeah. a great experience. It's beautiful to be able to do that. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Beautiful. Well, I, I think what time we, is it? Yeah, you, you were afraid we, we weren't going to talk past a half an hour, but it's uh past the hour. <laughs> so I think it's time to just uh Wow. I lost I lost all up. track of time there. That's I think that's that's probably a good sign. Time disappeared. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much disappeared. for this Thank you. beautiful conversation uh, and connection. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's Beautiful. Yeah, really enjoyed it. And uh, it's lovely. Yeah, I feel that on some level, we're kind of brothers in our experiences. We seem to we seem to have been on similar journeys and had similar experiences and come come to a similar well, I say understanding or whatever the word is, knowing, understanding, Experience. you know, it's, yeah. it's very beautiful. I, I love what you said Quite about too, yeah. um, I love what you said about, you know, inviting people just to be to be with their feelings and, and, and open to their feelings, sadness, fear. It's, I think that's so so important you know mm. because so few of us when we were children learned how to do that so few of us had parents that that helped us do that so it's it's beautiful just to kind of learn you know learn that for the first time it's you know doesn't matter how old you are you can always you can always begin so i think it's it's really yeah. beautiful and the thing is that if if it really um if everything is accepted everything just disappears that that's the yeah amazing thing you just sit in silence and there's no me and there's no them uh so i yeah. really uh, that's a bit of a rush to be honest <laughs> yeah it might be a little bit addictive but it's beautiful it, it's beautiful. if that's <laughs> it's a that's a nice kind of addiction we like that's that's right. that's the good kind of addiction you know it's that it's like that seeking energy kind of turns back in on itself mm. you know it's no longer seeking for something outside of yourself but kind of finding it's like the seeking becomes finding finding finding, finding yeah. what you were seeking much much closer than you ever imagined it it would yeah. be you know and losing it's, the seeker yeah it's just finding yeah yeah that's just finding which i think is what we are you know i look at 
I look at Gwendolyn, our daughter, and she's just finding every every moment. She's just finding. Life is just appearing magically in front of her, and she's just in that space of pure meditation, just curiosity and, and openness, and she's not yet dreaming of becoming enlightened, you know? And she's not yet dreaming of being perfect. Maybe we should do the next podcast cast with her. <laughs> Seriously, I, I, I think so, really. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, her, her language skills aren't... She wow. can say, agu, agu. <laughs> well, I probably would make that's probably maybe that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably would make more sense than like, after an hour of uh, me talking. It's just agu, <laughs> agu. That probably makes more well, sense than anything. Yeah, well, let's, I, I, let's... agu, agu is is a sacred word that points back to mm. the unspeakable. Well, yeah, that's a thing you find in all languages as well. It's uh, that, 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 that. Yeah, and that's what little children say when they first start to speak. So, it's true. <laughs> Can we call this podcast "Goo Goo Goo Goo"? I will. Go, I will. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff says a "Goo Goo Goo." <laughs> that was brilliant. I'll go and tell Gwendolyn now. She'll be so happy. Oh, She'll be like, yeah. "Oh, finally, the adults. The adults are going to make sense." Oh my god. <laughs> we have oh, the dear. approval of Gwendolyn. Great. Yes, the stamp well, of thank approval. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jeff. For this meeting for this beautiful experience for me as well and and connection thank you i really loved it thanks i loved it as well i don't i don't often love um podcasts and interviews but i really oh, i wow. genuinely i genuinely enjoyed this thank you so, thank much. You so much that's great to hear well, well thank you so much, much jeff i'm just going to end it for the people uh that's watching okay. and, and listening um <laughs> thank you well allemaal for het kijken that was him for deze keer uh willen jullie meer weten over the retreats van jeff kijk dan even in the show notes van deze podcast um meer informatie over inzicht het blad inzicht vind je op inzicht.org en uh, daar vind je ook meer informatie over jeff zijn boeken en retreats noem maar op uh, vond je dit een mooie uitzending vergeet niet te liken en te volgen uh, voor nu bedankt voor het kijken en luisteren en graag tot de volgende keer